keep showing her here. Hey, Darren, um, when you see the way you guys, uh, I know you had two leads that were kind of given up, uh, that were kind of quick, um, but at the same time as we've seen you guys give up, uh, or we've seen the teams go on runs before and you guys not respond the right way, I guess, what did you see from them answering the call? And then how did you guys see yourself respond to that? I um, mean, obviously, you know, that's a veteran team. Team has been through it, been to the Western Conference Finals. Um, so, you know, when you go up on them, I mean, you know, the game's not over, obviously. Um, uh, but I think, I mean, I think we responded well, obviously. But in the, in the in the fourth quarter, they were able to make the plays when it when it mattered, and you know, ultimately winning in this game. Game, Jim. Hey, Darren. We talked last game about uh, you guys needing to work harder to get Buddy healed open looks. Uh, at number one, did you do that tonight? Do you think you did a better job of that tonight? And number two, how nice was it to see him have a night where the ball was, you know, going through the net? Uh, I think we definitely did better. Obviously, I think, you know, there's still a lot of room for improvement, but uh, it was great, you know, having him uh, having him out there hitting shots. And I mean, that's something that we need. You know, he's one of the best shooters in the league. Um, so to get him going will always, will always help us and put us in a better position to win. Jason Jones. Hey, Darren, when teams are going on those runs, do you do you feel like you know or you have the confidence in what you guys want to do or what do you want to go to in those situations to kind of stem the tide and get yourself back going? Yeah, definitely, um, especially because when teams are scoring, you know, the defense kind of ramps up. They'll get more physical and things like that. But uh, for us, we've, we've started to understand what we want to get, you know, when teams uh, go on those runs, you know, um, certain plays, certain actions, where we know where the shot's coming from, or uh, we know that there are multiple things that we can get from that set. So I think we've done, we've done a better job at, at, uh, at answering a run, at answering the runs today. Uh, Matt George. De'Aaron, going back to those leads that your team was able to build up tonight, and even going back to the, the Raptors game over the weekend, is it concerning at all to you how quickly those are able to be, be cut down and evaporate? Or is that just the modern NBA today where scoring and runs can happen big at any given time? Um, I wouldn't say it's concerning for us. We just have to, I mean, those, those, those better teams, when they get up, they, they stay up. You know, you put your foot on the team's neck and you put them away, but... I wouldn't say it's concerning, concerning, but for us, you know, we know we can get that lead. So now the next step for us is to keep the lead and, and be able to win games like this. Um, so no, I wouldn't say it's concerning, but for us, you know, it's a, it's another step that we have to take as a team. Hey, De'Aaron, you guys, uh, in that first half, uh, you had 11 three-pointers, you had 20 assists on 24 baskets, you had like a 24-12 advantage on points in the paint. Is that kind of does that kind of epitomize that inside out style you guys want to be able to, to play with? I mean, obviously for us, you know, we want to we want to shoot threes, uh, get a lot of threes up, get good looks, um, and then get to the paint with with the pace that we play with. So offensively today, I mean, I think we've said it before, said it a lot. Um, I mean, we as a team, especially when we're playing with pace, where we get whatever we want offensively. Um, but you know it's two ends to this game, and you know we have to uh, we have to be able to figure it out on the on the other end. Sean Cunningham. Yeah, Darren, I figured I'd ask you about Dame. I mean, that first quarter, you guys were kind of answering each other. Uh, did you kind of feel at that point it might be one of those nights for the two of you guys? Uh, I mean, coming out, um, I mean, I just came out, you know, more aggressive tonight. But I mean, that's who Dame is. That's you know that's why he is who he is. Um, you know, being able to do that consistently. So, I mean, when you're playing the Blazers, uh, you know you're about to get, you know, you're going to have your hands full uh, with both of those guards. And then just one more. I was, uh, the fourth quarter kind of got you, took you guys a little while to kind of get going in that fourth. Just um, can you kind of give your observations of, of what was kind of stalling the offense a little bit? Uh, I mean, like I said, they, they ramped it up. They, they, their defense got more physical. They were pushing us off our spots. Um, and for us, you have to be able to answer that, especially if you want to be a playoff team in this league where, every second of the game is going to be like that, you know, towards the end of the season and once you get in the playoffs. So um, we have to be able to, we have to be able to answer, you know, teams pushing us, uh, pushing us and grabbing. Uh, you have to be able to play through that uh, and be physical offensively as well. Um, but I think in the fourth quarter, that's, I mean, that's, that's kind of where that got us. All right, last one, James Jan. 
Yeah, De'Aaron, um, you came out aggressive with your three-point shots tonight. Was it just just feeling confident, or was there something you different you did different over the last forty-eight hours? Uh no, no. Um, continue to work and um, get my get my legs more into it. I think that's pretty much the only thing that I would say that I pretty much changed in this game. Um, but no, nah, I mean, just continue. Just for me, uh, being able to come out aggressive, uh, get to the free throw line, get to the paint. Um, you know, when teams are going under, being able to shoot the ball. You know, if I can have teams uh, go over, you know, pick and rolls, I think it opens up everything for everybody. So um, that's something, you know, as an individual that I have to work on and, and continue to get better at so that it, it ultimately helps the team. All right, Tony, I'll do the last one. Yeah, De'Aaron, uh, over the years, you know, Portland hasn't really been known to be a fast break team. They like to play that half court set. Uh, up until the first three quarter, they were seven for seven on the fast break in this game. You see, you see like a little uptick, a little difference in you know the way they're approaching the game, running. Um, I mean, obviously they, I mean they, they're really getting the half court because of you know Dame and CJ and the way. Uh, I mean how 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 good Nurk has has gotten over the years, but I mean they run when they have the opportunity to. You know, um, obviously they're not playing with you know super uh, super up tempo with a with a high pace, but. You know, if you give good teams in this league the opportunity to run, you know, they'll they'll take it. But uh, I mean, I wouldn't say that they've been playing differently. Obviously, you when you have someone like Derek Jones who who gets behind defenses and you're on a break and you can just throw the ball up there. But I mean, that team, you know, they they know when they they know when they want to run and when they don't.